How does high bandwidth of 1 gigabit per second provided by G.Fast come from? G.Fast can provide a high bandwidth of 1 gigabit per second due to two factors. 1. Lane expansion, that is, spectrum range expansion. The spectra used by copper line technology such as VDSL2 and G.Fast are compared to roads in our daily life. Once upon a time, there was a rural highway near my home. It was so narrow that traffic could only squeeze through slowly. Afterwards, a four-lane expressway was built nearby, could transit a much greater number of vehicles than the rural highway could even dream of. Now, the traffic on the highway has significantly improved. G.Fast provides higher bandwidth than VDSL2 by expanding the spectrum range supported by VDSL2. Let's see their differences. Two, reducing interference between lanes, that is, vectoring crosstalk cancellation. A night, the lack of protective divider blocking oncoming headlights caused us to slow down. This effect is similar to what happens when we get crosstalk over communication lines or intercopper line crosstalk. In order to prevent crosstalk, we use vectoring. Vectoring functions as the protective divider blocking oncoming headlights. G.Fast operates at much higher frequency than its predecessors, so crosstalk is prone to occur. G.Fast uses leading vectoring to cancel interline crosstalk so as to improve line rates. So, how does high bandwidth of 1 gigabit per second provided by G.Fast come from? Maximum theoretical bandwidth is equal to simple rate by x number of subcarriers by maximum number of bits carried on each. The number of bits carried can be considered to be the maximum people carried in each vehicle. The G.Fast according to ITU TG.9701 is permitted to carry a maximum of 12 bits per subcarrier. As a result, maximum theoretical bandwidth is equal to 48,000 by 2048 by 12, approximately 1.18 gigabit per second. This is 1 gigabit per second provided by G.Fast.